Hi traders, this is Forts Nelson, and I'm back uh, with another trade on Friday, July the 20th. This was the CAD news this morning. It just tanked, and the CAD was very strong, so all the CAD pairs either went down or up, depending on the pair. CAD is on the right side, so that's why it tanked for, I'm not sure how much, but it did tank for over 80 pips. Now when the market moves a lot like that, and within the blue box here, it was over 100 pips. So I checked, I checked all the pairs. This one here looks like the best one for the London close. Now the London close is here, but when you get a big move like that, don't expect it to keep going down. So I saw it moving sideways. This indicator here, slowly going up. So there's a lot of pip triggers basically telling me it's going to do the retracement. So right here I decided to take the trade. It went sideways for a while and finally it broke through. Now we're above the goal line and of course this line is blue. These are all signals that this should continue to go up and it's got a clear path to go up. I've seen it a thousand times. Makes a move down and then through the afternoon for a few hours it just slowly goes all the way back up. So I have a default uh, 20 pips stop and the default is 40 pips but if it sticks around here too long um, you know I may just close it or at least managing it. I'm up 12 pips right now. So if it stays here too long, what I'll do is close out half the lots and put my stop to plus one pip if I'm going to walk away from the computer. In other words, I do not want to turn this into a, a losing trade. Anytime you get 10 to 20 pips, you should never turn it into a losing trade. Now I teach that in my training videos. And if you look right below here, you'll see all the different subjects that I teach and train that goes along with the pip trigger. So anyhow, um, this is just a waiting game. Never did hit the ADR, just uh, ADR is right there. So I think that's it as far as uh, going down. And it's not going to hit the ADR for the rest of the day. And it is Friday. It's approaching 12 o'clock, and it may just go sideways. So either it'll go up higher, hook around and come down. No matter which way it goes, even if I just get 5 pips, 10 pips, whatever I get, I get. But I won't turn it into a losing trade. I'm up $1,000 at the moment now. Anyhow, um, report back shortly. Forex Nelson is back. I walked away from the computer for about 10 minutes and it just shot right up and it hit my 40 pip target. I got in where this arrow is, this little cursor, had a 20 pip stop and that was my 40 pip target as you can see down at the bottom for my daily recap. Only did one trade today for over three thousand dollars. I know it can keep going but that's the way life goes. I'm, I'm happy with 40 pips. And just goes to show you, you can trade outside of the box, but you have to know how to trade within the box, and you have to know how to trade outside of the box. And by the way, I teach that in all of my education. So if you want to have results like this, you got to get your hands on the pip trigger. This is what's in the basic package from the pip trigger. There's like 10 gigabytes of training and lots of books and indicators. I give uh, some million dollar trade plans. I give a real lot within the package. Uh, plus 20 bonus videos on top of these 197. These, these are the ones that I did in red covering all of these subjects right here. You can put this video on pause and there's many different ways to trade and I go in detail exactly how to use the pit trigger and trade this way and this is what you have to learn 
the, the correct way to trade and I do my best at teaching within the videos and as you can see you know for an hour two hours a day whenever I get in front of the computer I can always find a trade just scan the market and easy to find a trade it's very easy to do uh, with the pip trigger get a trigger wait for the pullback and then jump in usually with a very small stop like within 10 pips now I know this was 20 let's see what that is it went against me 12 pips so when it's going sideways I use the full 20 but this was um, another way that I trade right here on this candle one pip above and then my stop would have been much less it would have been within 10 pips so it's, it's just another way that I know how to trade and actually I teach that too so there are many ways to trade and your job as a trader is get your hands on as much education as possible and don't forget don't forget the psychological part and trade management and money management these are all things that you need so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my youtube channel and of course uh, you want to get in touch with me look right below this video and all my contact information and I can certainly answer your questions and give you some tips and tricks for free uh, uh, using Skype so please make Skype contact for screen viewing okay it's the weekend shutting things down and it's time to enjoy the weekend okay till the next video good luck in your trading